Not even going to bother with the loading screen this time. We've read it all. There we go. Hi guys, and welcome to another video. I might actually cut in at the start. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was an interesting character. There. I might actually cut in at the start of this video, me going up the elevator at the end, just so we get that nice little speech again. Yeah, no, I'm coming back down, because, um... Wow, is this actually spinning slightly as we go down? That's really disorientating. Ugh, makes you feel a little bit sick. Yeah, you guys were kind enough to tell me what the hell was going on in Sander's office. Um... That wasn't Sander down there. We could kill him. There were just two random splices. And do you remember he said, don't rattle their rhythm? He wasn't talking about himself. The thing is, you might be wondering, well, why did you assume that he, they, that was Sander himself? It's because he kind of talks all poetically and weird. So I just thought that that was just the way he was talking, right? Wow, did that light just come on here? Oh, no, it's flashing. Okay. Yeah, so I, I kind of ignored them, but uh, I guess... Um, that's not what's going on at all. And the game's the game's quite clever. I was bit, being a bit of an idiot, really. They're not even dancing anymore. What the hell? Okay, well, they seem to have bugged out slightly. Yeah, the game's quite clever. It's designed so that they fight you. It's it's pretty cool, isn't it? How are we going to take them out? Because they go, they go nuts when you pick that up. So let's just... Um, uh, exploding buck twice, because this thing shoots pretty fast. So That's one. Ah, you bitch. You got away. Come on, where are you? Hello. Oh, so she's an ice one. She's like the first splicer I've ever met that shoots with ice damage. Let's freeze her. Ooh, there she is. That's that tonic, I think. Nice. Bring it on. Fine. Yeah, so this is what you guys told me happens. This is... Oh, you can actually play the grand piano. I'm beautiful. Piano is actually something that, for the longest time, I've always wanted to learn, but I just, I haven't got around to it. I really do want to buy a keyboard for myself. Ah, here we go. Here's Sander. You're right, buddy. Long time no see. Finally, we're going to be able to kill him. I like that we can be the one that kills him as well, actually. Come on. Yeah, no. Oh, my God. He, like, kicked the corpse. No, no, no. I wanted to loot him. Oh, we still can. Okay. We got... Anti-personnel rounds and a key to his thing and we're full on our money as well, so we'll buy some stuff. Look at how low our max health and Eve is. That's another thing I don't think I mentioned. Somebody told me that this thing... Wait, so now a door should be open upstairs, I think, allowing us into his office or something. Um, actually, I did notice editing yesterday that on the map there were some places that I hadn't been to. Yeah, over here. Okay, so we've got a staircase. No, that's in Su Chong's apartment. I don't care about that. Um, where do, we, where do we put the key? Because I don't remember finding a specifically locked door. His office. That's not going to be way back at, um, Fort Frolic, is it? Ooh! 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 Oh, man, I love this wrench. Basically, it means I don't have to be scared of people anymore. Is that not napalm? Yeah, it's napalm, sweet. Yeah, I wanted to use more of that as well, but we haven't been doing it that much. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Piano, that's one of those things on my list. Like, I, Just a cheapy keyboard. I don't know how much they cost. Oh, is this the office? This must be the office. Ooh, it's the office. Okay. Wha wow. This is where he sleeps. What a disturbed mind. What a disturbed mind. Okay. Yeah, do you know what? Little moments like this. I've been wondering. Oh, here, and here's the power to the people. Brilliant. Uh, we'll just use a, use a consumption rate as well then. So can you actually... Get find enough of these to do every single one in the game. That'd be cool. Yeah, it, I've been I've been th wondering as I've been going through this whether this really was a good game to let's play blind. And I actually think it, it probably is because there's so many of these little moments, right? And if you already know they're coming, it's not quite the same. I mean, damn, absolutely insane. None of these people ever came to life. He sleeps with corpses in his room. Just that alone would be fucked up enough. But no, he's doing all of this as well. There's like blood on them. What was this on the table? A shotgun. Be a bit much to ask for it. See, and all the absinthe you find around Cohen, have you noticed that? It makes me wonder sort of whether he's just constantly drunk or what. Using this because he can't get any Adam. Who knows? Just lots of stuff. I had a bit of a weird flashback there to Oblivion. I wanted to hold Zed to like pick it up and move it around because I'm so used to doing that with potions. But yeah. Alright, two health kits. Oh, and a dead person in the tub. I should have known by now, really, shouldn't I? Um, would have been. I would have pooed myself if that person came to life. And a dead person on the toilet. So how does Sander himself go to the toilet? Um, 
<laughs> oh my god. Wow. Alright, well there you go. Thank you to the... Well, kind of thank you to the person who tipped me off. Um, I mean, I doubt I ever would have figured this out without your help. So, yeah. Without all of your help, help really, but... You know, I do wonder whether all that confusion with me not killing the, him would have happened if I'd just sort of done it my own way. I wonder whether I would have killed Cohen or not, when if, if I'd never been told. Whether I actually would have bothered with it. I'm not sure. Now, there is this place in Su Chong's apartment, okay? I quite like... And it links to Tenenbaums. Um, I quite like Su Chong's character. I know we're not supposed to like him, because... He, oh, 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 don't attack... Oh, you won't let me pass... See, I know we're not supposed to like him, because really he just, um... He kind of created us, actually, if you think about it. Alright, there's Tenenbaum. Let's just go to Suchong first. But, I don't know. Maybe it's just his accent that I like. There we go. Is this Suchong? Oh, this is... Oh, this is this place. This is just an abandoned apartment. Why does it say Suchong's apartment, then? Well, this isn't where we want to go. We want to turn around and go into Tenenbaum's on the... Yeah, this is Tenenbaum's on the lower floor, which we couldn't get into before. If I recall correctly, but then we did get into a place that said Tenenbaum up the stairs. What's up with that? Yeah, it won't let us in. How do you get in there then? Alright, well there is another staircase from the top, so... Let's go up. Can you like drop down in there? I've got a habit of doing this, haven't I? I, I finish an area and then in the next video, spend ages wandering around in it. Right, so now I can go... How did we get behind that security checkpoint last time? We didn't, did we? We didn't actually make it past. That doesn't have a sign above it. Although I'm sure it said Tenenbaum before. Let's invent some stuff, actually. Let's invent... Um, electric gel? Because we haven't really used much of that. So, we'll, try, we'll actually get that out as well, shall we? No, not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. There we go. Alright. Yeah, how did we get through here? We just took a left, didn't we? And went into that apartment area there. Oh, no. So, we can get in there. So... We come in here, all right. Home of Bridget Tenenbaum. Bridget, that's her. Oh, that's her first name, is it? Will I ever get my max health back? Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Apparently, this thing with Fontaine here. He's every time he hits us, he lowers our max health, which is really interesting because it's like, oh, does this mean that our max health is just gonna keep going lower and lower and lower and lower until we're completely? So what have we got here? This is the door, isn't it? Can we just? There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. No, no, why is it so hard to get the fucking... There we go. Oh, of course that's not going to work. And there's a turret shooting at me. Do you, would you mind? Oh, no, what hit me? What hit me? What? I genuinely... Was that my own electricity? Because I'm using Electrobolt 3 now, and it just spans a really large area. I'm all the way back here. I'll see you guys back up there. Ugh. Okay, we're back. I also went to the vending machine down there and bought some health kits. Because, yeah, our max health keeps going lower. I, I think we're, we've sort of spent so much time here that it's as low as it will possibly go. Which is fine by me, but, um, yeah, I guess it's kind, it's kind of annoying, actually. Because if we don't get our health back now... There was a turret over there, wasn't there? Or there was someone shooting at me. Yeah, look, there's the turret. Well, we can just blow it up. Yeah, ooh, my, ooh it's actually a lot more resistant than, than I thought they were. Yeah, yeah, if we don't get it back, then it's like I've wasted loads of Adam... Doing just random crap on those health upgrades that absolutely mean nothing now. So I hope we get it back. At least for the final boss, if if indeed Fontaine is the final boss. I'm still asking myself this question. I'm pretty sure now we will fight Fontaine at some point. But, ah, oh, what? So there wasn't anything there. It was just a way to get back down. Ah, oh, useless. There was nothing in here. This tiny room. Right, okay. Ten minutes, once again, the first ten minutes of every video is dedicated to re-exploring areas we have already been. Right, now let's go up the lift. Ah, oh, you love it really, guys. And let's see what we got up here. Yeah, look, it's slowly turning to the left, but only just, so it's... Ugh. Maybe it's because I'm sat so close to the screen now. Right, okay, so we're in the home of Frank Fontaine. And we're looking for the antidote. See, the antidote could quite well bring my, um... Hello! Maybe I should have hacked that thing. What? Has a camera seen me? Ah, oh. Really? 
Oh wow, the exploding buck sets them on fire. That's amazing. I'm just going to leave the camera alive because I can't be bothered to keep killing them. It's not like they seem to do that much to me anyway. Not when I, not when you've got so many health kits and you can just keep tapping F. There we go. We've got another 30 seconds. So where exactly is this camera? Oh, it's right at the end. Oh, was this like kind of a, a cool stealthy little area or was it if, if I'd been careful? Two hits. There we go. Is there another one anywhere? No. The, these cameras are more like flies than anything else I've ever encountered in the game. They buzz around you, pestering you, not doing enough damage to... But, uh, but when you kill them, they blow up doing damage, so it's like, oh, yes. They make irritating little noises, but it's amazing when you freeze them like that. Wait, the machine I just damaged is hacked and friendly to me, apparently. No. Well, that would be a cool wrench upgrade, actually. I wonder if some, oh, I wonder if stuff like that actually does exist in Bioshock 2. Like, you get completely new upgrades. I mean, you play as a big daddy, so I am beginning... I think the textures are all a bit fucked up, because that health kit didn't have a real texture on it there, did it? It was a bit weird. Alright, anyway, let's continue on. And there's a polar bear. So we're in Mr. Burns' office. And he could just take advantage of them all. I wonder if he's the cause of all. Well, he must be, really. See, so see, I kind of. There's a part of me that wants to play through again because there's all that stuff to do with um, that woman, right? And that she had the baby. I'm wondering if I'm the baby that was cut out because Frank Fontaine was doing something there. I can't quite remember the specifics anymore, though. So, but I'm sure it's all related somehow. Sad saps. Yeah, do you remember Thingy, um, the guy who gave us the camera, that recording that was after that, and he was like, um, oh, it seems like this Fontaine guy's actually worked today in his life. He just pandered to the, the common people. The people who, essentially, in Rapture was designed to trample them, and that it was okay to do that, because the idea was, if you're not doing well, it's your own damn fault, every man for himself, right? So, it was okay, and people... And, and Fontaine just kind of came along and used them to his own advantage. Very cool idea. Very cool. That was a chunk of some very nice stuff there. What way do we want to go, guys? Left or right? I'm going to go left. As you just saw. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What's with all the machines in your house? Fontaine? I almost called him Ryan. There you go. I thought these were more Ryan's thing. I guess they all work for him now, so he can do whatever the hell he wants. Where is he right now? I do wonder. Auto hack, yes. Oh, it's amazing. I've got so many videos about genuinely hacking something. I'm loving it. We really do need to use some liquid nitrogen. I guess I freeze people enough to, with the wrench to not worry about it anymore. They do give you an awful lot. I'll give them that. And yes, do I need to mention it? I don't think so. I love the music here. This is awesome. Bit of a vent there. So wait, what's, um, can I take a right hit? No, I can't. So what was up on the left over there? Should I just jump over? I doubt there'll be much full damage. There wasn't any at all. There you go. A very scary looking polar bear. Right. So wait, wait, wait. So what way's the right way to go? The arrow points here. Hold on. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally trigger some kind of a cutscene or something without fully exploring. Um, in his bedroom, someone's come in here and ransacked this place. I'll say that much. Oh, right, there's just two ways into the same room. Okay, so that's the t the tonics our goal. What's just around here? I just want to have a quick look, quick little look see. All the bathtubs are so grimy. I know that it's just that they have to reuse the textures, but you can you can just imagine how nice this would look. There were just a few plants like 
in the corner of this room. This would just absolutely look fantastic. You can already see it's beginning to look like a little bit of a wreck, right? Like, I could imagine, like, Atlantis, if it were real, to have places like this, you know. Although this is totally different, I suppose. I wonder how much influence of Atlantis the developers actually sort of looked into and stuff when they were designing this game. Okay. For once, we're not going to die to these things. Okay? One down. Two down. Oh, I feel amazing. I feel like I accomplished something today. We made progress. We got we gained skill with something. Ooh. Lot 192, that's what we're looking for. Another flamethrower, why not? Electric Flesh 2? When we said Electric Flesh was the ultimate in electricity enhancement, we turned out to be premature. New Electric Flesh 2 is even better. Be shocker, not shocky with Electric Flesh 2. Okay, so we take much less damage from electricity, but we deal much more damage when we use electrical attacks. Well, electricity doesn't seem to be about dealing damage, does it? Really? Mind you, we do have static discharge. Should we just become like an electrically charged wrench person that freezes people? Because I quite like that idea. I can't get rid of armored shell though. Ah, uh, why are they all these tonics? Wrench jockey? Machine buster? See, I like that because machines are just annoying as hell, right? Um, let's get rid of... Uh, no, I don't want to get rid of some lightning in order to add a tonic that would improve the lightning. Um, yeah, let's just go with Machine Buster. Why not? I love that noise as well, that's so cool. Whiskey. How would I pick up just the enzyme sample, but not the whiskey? Can I, like, scroll? No. See, I don't think I've figured that out, actually. There must be a key I'm missing. Alright, okay, so, lot... I think we've got everything here. Right, lot 192. Is everything about to go to hell? Yes, yes it is. Oh no. Compound is taking hold. The effects of the mental suggestion are now gone, but there will certainly be side effects. What? Wait, tell me what they are. One lot, lot one nine two has caused some side effects. Your plasmids have become unstable, and you're temporarily unable to choose which one you have equipped. Oh God. Okay, so well, I don't use plasmids up. Ugh. Unnecessary complications. Good. Now go find Su Chang's lab in Artemis Suites. In there, no doubt there will be more of this lot 192. <laughs> I, I love how the subtitle said good like that instead of just good. I think I know why I... Oh my god, and it changes it just every now and then. And it can be any, not just ones I've chosen to have equipped. Winter Blast 3, I don't remember ever using this, actually. I think I know why I like Tenenbaum so much. She reminds me of... Do you think... Is it, is it the same voice actress that did Tali in Mass Effect? Because she sounds quite similar. Or maybe it was just that one moment that made me feel that way. I love how everything kind of slightly greyed out now. Alright, well, I was expecting some massive thing to happen in there, but I guess not. This game's weird. It's just like when all that stuff kicked off with Ryan earlier. There we go. Freeze one of them. Freeze the camera. Why is the camera in the lift? I don't appreciate that. That guy just thawed behind me, didn't he? Yes. Ah. Ow, 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 ow. Let me in. Let me in. Press the button. Whew. Oh, yes, we got our health back. Sweet. Okay, cool. Yes, I... Actually, no, let's use some plasmids. Target dummy. Wait, what? I don't think I ever bought that. I didn't think I ever bought Winter Blast 3 either, though, did I? You won't find my little sister in there. Huh. Alright, no, screw it. I'm, I'm sticking with my weapons. Though I have a feeling it's going to keep switching me to the, um... Yeah, let's, let's just stick with the crossbow for a while. I have a feeling it's going to keep switching me to my plasmids, even when I don't want it to. Oh, how dare you survive? That was in the head. Unrealistic game. Oh, let's buy a couple more of... Ooh, it's doing it again. I like this. It's really spicing up the gameplay a bit. Electro Bolt 3, yes. Don't hit the big daddy. For the love of God, don't hit the big daddy. Brilliant. Okay. We're running out of Eve. I haven't experienced this for a while. So, so where exactly are we going? We're following the arrow, but where's the arrow taking us to? Zoom out. Oh my god, we've been we've been loads of places. So our goal's just back down there, is it right? Okay. Take the game's word for it. Oh yeah, there was this place as well. In the editing I wondered why I didn't just jump through this hole. Oh wow, can I am I like immune? 
Hey, look at it. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I had this tonic before now. I can just literally walk through them and they don't kill me. Amazing. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Enrage. Yeah, it's given me to um, plasmids that I've never used before. Why can't I pick any of this stuff up? There we go. Can I have the dollars? Oh no, I'm, I must be full on money again. They're giving you a lot of money at this point in the game, aren't they? Enrage. Let's just see what it does, I suppose. She sounds more pissed off, but do I really want the splicers more pissed off with me? You're right. Look how inaccurate this thing actually is. This is point black range. And it's not... Oh, there we go. I was a little bit worried that um, uh, Barrel was going to get set off as well. Yeah. Do you know what would be cool? I doubt it will happen in this game, but if we met the woman that's doing all of those like telecom things, that would be cool. Learn her story. What's going on with her? How'd she get the job? Did she feel bad? Oh, oh. Oh, I see. Oh, we're coming down here. I remember this place. Alright, okay, sure. Was this just not open before? Was this just unavailable? Alright, Apollo Square. I wonder if this is the, um, uh, thing, the place with all the shops and stuff. Wounded splices can heal at a health station. I haven't seen that happen that much, really. Seems like it could have been quite an interesting dynamic in the game, but it's like, there was the one fight at the start with Steinman, and that was it. Incinerate 3. No, they're not going to give us a chance to use it. Hypnotize Big Daddy 2. I don't even remember seeing this for sale. Maybe it was like only uh, if you kill the little sisters thing. Can I use this? <laughs> oh my god, I can use it. Hack only napalm and stuff like that. No, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Oh, what's happening here? Yeah, this place does look pretty fucked up. It looks like a zombie invasion's happened. Oh, it's McClintock. Oh my god, do you remember that other recording we heard from her ages ago? Oh, it's changing again. Where she was like, um, talking about riots going on outside. It's really interesting now, we're slowly getting her story, but not sort of as it happened. You know, the narrative's all sort of out of touch and stuff. This is crazy. Alright. Something tells me I'm going to enjoy this area. Attention, please have Rapture ID cards ready before reaching the checkpoint. So there was a quarantine of sorts. Lots of people here. Okay. Um, insect swarm three. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Oh, see, it's weird. Now this mechanic, if we've got this now. I guess it will change back, but for a while, it's like you never need to have bought a single plasmid, and you're whole way through the game because. Are you gonna wake up? I'm gonna set out some insects just in case. Oh man, this is this is crazy. This is really post-apocalyptic. I'm surprised the glass is still holding. Must it be some kind of magic glass? And I hear a big daddy, good point actually. Two little sisters to save. Two of them. Yeah. That would have been a good character to have wake up while I was sort of very close. Do I actually have to crawl through here to continue on? Oh. How am I supposed to kill the big daddies without the choice of what plasmid to use as well? That's quite interesting. Oh, well, hopefully the spices will do it for me. And if not, I'm going to get my... Um, it sounds like that's a, uh, and I don't know why I say sounds like. No, stop it. Oh yeah, cyclone trap. What the hell, guys? When am I needing cyclone trap? How does it even work? We'll put it on there. What the hell is cyclone trap? What does it do? I can't pick another plasmid to sort of interact with it, though. Ugh, madness. And no, it's a rosy, isn't it? So look, what we'll do is we'll just go one trap there, one trap there, one trap there. And one trap there. Okay, now we'll shoot him with an incendiary bolt. And she'll run on over. I'm going to have to go through the proximity mine. There we go. Wait. No, 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 no. Come over to me. There we go. Run through the traps. Look at good Rosie. Come on, run through the traps. It's not going to run through the traps. This isn't going to work. Why has he got so much range? Oh my god. Should I just shoot a few more bolts? There we go. Yes! Oh, amazing. Oh, you guys, you are awesome. Wow, what a sweet way to kill a Rosie. That was incredible. 
That was an elite Rosie as well. Down. Awesome. Hey, it's cool. Oh shit, I didn't just press K instead of L, did I? No. Okay, good. I can't actually see the keyboard, so... <laughs> I kind of have that worry every time I'm saving a little sister now. Oh, man. That was so cool. Can't wait to do that some more. Winter Blast 3 again. I guess this is like a nice little... Hey, uh... Very easy to kill people with that thing. I mean, damn. Let's get some more health packs. What are we looking at here? This is still crazy where we are. I can't believe any... Well, no, actually, I can believe Little Sister's around here. Looks like there'd be more corpses here than anywhere else. Fontaine's Little Sister Orphanage, and he has a home for the poor. I wonder if where Tenenbaum's based was, like, her hideout with those, that was originally Fontaine's place. That'd be cool. I'm not sure what he'd be using it for. Oh, 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 scary music. Whoa. Oh, did I just miss all their corpses dropping down? Oh, what... What um, what are we looking at here? Rapture, why are you so crazy? I'll kill that bitch. Tell you that for nothing. Oh, for a moment there I thought we wouldn't have range. Oh, she's actually quite strong. Oh my god, unless she's just fire and she's resistant to this. Let's try some electric gel. We're still not max on that. It comes very hard to find as far as I can see. There we go. Die, bitch. Well, why aren't you dead? You should be dead. There we go. She's out. Oh, oh, more scary music. Electro Bolt 3. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Knock her out. We got any more? There's a gatherer's garden there. I mean, just, what are we looking at here? I was hoping the intercom there was going to say something interesting about this, but apparently not. I mean, Jesus, why? Gene traitors. What were the gene traitors doing? Yeah, I doubted any of these corpses will have something on them. They just seem to have been looted quite heavily. I mean, this is mad. What's going on here? This must be the riots, and, and just as everything was going to hell, right? It is too dangerous to re-engineer your plasmids in the state Fontaine has put you in. You'll just have to make do with what you have. So you're telling me I can't use the Gatherer's Garden, right? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, Atlas lives. I bribed one of the gorillas at the gate to let me in. It's awful in here. To my right, I can see a dead woman lying in the street. Everybody just walking by her like she isn't there. But I noticed something spray painted everywhere. Atlas lives. I, mean, I don't know what it means, but something tells me it's important to these people. Oh, wow. Do you know what? That's really interesting because that it's basically going into how this the, the, the point that we missed in this game, right? Where this was a normal city with normal people who had perfectly normal lives and then it got to a point where we're here now where everybody wanders around ignoring corpses and just getting whatever the hell they can there's a point there's a point where the city was changing and where this stuff was happening and what we just heard there with McClintock was that point which we completely missed so that's really interesting fuck we're getting that's a ri that, I want to hear more of that kind of stuff because that's the most interesting stuff right I'm just wandering around doing nothing here, aren't I? What way should we go? I, I, my, my my problem is I don't know a bit of indecision which direction to go in. I guess it doesn't matter, really. This place does look a little bit complicated. Yeah. Because like, that's what they're saying with Infinite, right? It's the, the one thing they didn't like with Bioshock was... Well, no, I guess it was both... Oh, yeah, I don't. I can't use Electro Bolt, can I? Let's just freeze it. I guess it's one of those things, right? Because it's quite cool that they do that. Because where we can only hear what McClintock says as she's wandered around, it's actually, it, it lets your imagination do its thing. Are we just going back the way we came here? No. It does look awful similar though. We've got a camera somewhere. Where is it? There. Yeah, like, if you're, if you're only listening to it, you, your imagination could just completely run wild. And, like, I've got a really vivid picture in my head right now of what we're walking through and all the chaos happening. But, like, and again, no matter how good the graphics get, or, you know... Whoa, that says Diane there. I'm sure it does. What's that? Adam? 
Oh, no, no. Adam denies you an excuse. Oh, oh, is that what Steinman had? To be ugly? Was that something like that? I don't know. I feel like the textures are acting a bit odd today. I don't know why. Alright, the metro. We've been hearing about the metro a lot for a long time, actually. We can come down here. It's all getting a bit messed up. Oh, God. Do I really want to come down here? What the hell? I notice you stopped talking so much, Frank. Getting a little bit intimidated, eh? I'll be you think Ryan's gonna be there for you when you're down and out? No! Fontaine! Fontaine's the man with the helping hand! Oh, but So, he had two presences. He would, Fontaine was both Atlas, someone openly against Ryan, and he was also Fontaine, who was openly against Ryan. There were like two aliases he had at different points in the history of the city. Oh, we're going to Fontaine Center for the poor. No way. Awesome. Made Ryan good and mad when I started playing the charity angle. Fontaine's home for the poor. For I knew it I was calling myself Atlas and leading an army. Ryan and his precious rapture. You don't have to build a city to make people worship you. Just make the jumps believe they're worth the nickel. Wow. Okay. Right, I've just noticed the time. It's coming up on 35 minutes. So, I guess that's going to have to be the end of the video. Tomorrow, we'll go into the centre for the poor and see what's going on. I know that the arrow isn't leading me here, but I don't give a crap. This place seems really cool. So, I will see you guys in a while tomorrow. Take care, everybody. See you later. Oh, man.